So I just filmed this entire video. I copied it to my computer, took out my SD card, formatted that card, and then I pressed undo on the files on my computer. So it undid the drag, effectively just deleting the whole video. So I gotta do this video all over again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never done that before. That's so stupid, why is that even a thing? <sighs> okay. Anyways, yeah, I haven't made a video in a while. Well, just kidding, because I just made this video. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I haven't made like a gig vlog in a while. I'm sure you guys have noticed. Um, and that's not because I haven't been gigging. I have done some gigs, but I just didn't really feel like vlogging them. So today I just felt like talking about my favorite guitar, as you can probably tell from the title. And it is this. This guitar is my current number one guitar. This is a Sir Modern HSH, a Sir Modern Satin. I got this guitar about a year ago from Dan's Guitars on Oahu. Uh, shout out to them. Shout out to my friend Hee for convincing me to get this guitar. And so yeah, I'll just take you through a few things about why I like this guitar and a very, very, very few things that I don't like about this, but it's mostly positive. So I got this guitar a little over a year ago and I've been gigging with this guitar very extensively. I even got the chance to take this out on a tour which was really cool. If you're interested in seeing any of those videos, you can check the link. I think it's on this corner. You can check the link there. Is it that corner? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna just commit. It's that corner. Check, <laughs> check it. Um, but yeah, I don't remember what kind of wood it's made out of off the top of my head. I'll probably edit it in. But there's a few things on here that I really, really like. First of all, it's super comfortable, pretty lightweight. It sounds amazing, which is why I bought it. But most of all, my most favorite thing about this guitar is that it stays in tune no matter what I do to it. It has a Godo 510 bridge and I have it floating so I can do things like that. Like I can pull up and down on the whammy bar. Usually when guitars have a floating tram, they're very hard to keep in tune. But man, this one, this one stays in tune no matter what I do to it. I would say the only times that it, it really goes out of tune or I've only ever broken a string on this maybe a handful of times. And the only reason why it does that is because the strings are old. Pretty much if I keep the strings new, like I just changed these strings. If I keep the strings new and fresh, then I don't have to worry about it going out of tune or breaking. That's a huge positive about this guitar that I really love. Second thing I really love is the feel. Obviously there has there's a lot of nice contours and this has this nice heel contour that I really like, but my favorite thing about this guitar in terms of comfort is actually the frets. These are jumbo stainless steel frets and they're super comfortable. Like I don't, I can't even feel it on the sides. There's no spread or there's no fret sprout. Stainless steel frets are good because they will never tarnish. They'll always be super shiny like this. So whenever I'm doing slides, or vibrato or bends, um, it always feels super, super smooth. And they'll never wear out. I remember I used to play Squires or like just like lower um, quality guitars. Actually now today's Squires are really, really nice. But when I used to play lower quality guitars, I would actually wear out the frets because I played them so much. So they would get little indentations after a year of playing, you would get little indentations. and it would actually mess up the tuning. So that's something I don't have to worry about with this guitar anymore. Now going to, I guess the electronics, this has uh, Sir pickups. I think it's a SSV and a SSH plus, And I think this is a Sir ML. And then you can also press right here to split the humbuckers. Five way selector, volume knob. This guitar is pretty much all stock. Actually, the only thing that I really did change is I changed the volume knobs to these kind of strat style knobs just because I'm more comfortable with that. I also added this pick holder on the back of the headstock so I never forget picks. The only other thing I did to this was I, I lowered the pickups because they were really high when I got them and they were a little too hot for my taste so I lowered them and that's pretty much it. I mean I love the sound of the Sir pickups. It, it's just the sound that I, I like going for. So 
The last thing I like about this, um, and we're kind of going back to the feel thing here, is just the finish on here. It's really has this kind of nice satin finish. Of course, that's why it's called Sir Modern Satin. But it's the first guitar that I've had that's not like a polyurethane, really thick finish. And I can really, I can actually really tell um, and see the wear that I've done on this guitar uh, just in the past year. I'll put some close-ups in here, but you can see like around the volume knob, there's some wear, kind of where the, where the pick guard would be. There's some wear and then all along the edges, it's starting to kind of wear and, and kind of relic really nicely. I wouldn't consider myself someone that's really hard on this instrument. I'm, I don't intentionally try to like, <laughs> try to damage this thing, but I'm, I'm not like super, super gentle or like, fragile with this thing either it's it's just coming natural so actually really i didn't really like the look of this guitar when i first bought it but now that it has kind of some natural relicking i, I really started it's kind of growing on me if if you know what i mean I feel like i'm earning i'm earning this relic <laughs> i think this is gonna be like super sick in like five more years so those are all the good things i have to say about this guitar moving on to some of the things that i don't like which are very few i remember before buying this guitar i was watching a video and someone said that this horn contour right here kind of gets in the way of your playing and yeah i actually will agree with that because if you can see this contour right here it's kind of contoured all the way up to this point, but it doesn't go deeper and any more deeper than that. If you can see that. And when you're playing up here, sometimes it can kind of get in the way of your hand. Your hand will bump up against it, like right there. But in my personal experience, that hasn't really happened to me that much or been a big issue. It is something that I do notice from time to time, but you kind of just get used to it. Another thing that I don't really like, and these are all just real nitpick things, but I don't like having the input jack down here. And that's just because like when you're playing sitting down and if you want to hold it like this rather than like this it can kind of get in the way of your leg and sometimes if you don't have a right angle jack live it kind of brushes up against your thigh but again that's easily remedied by having a right angle jack right in there and i would say last kind of nitpick that i have with this guitar is the hsh configuration of the pickups now this is actually the first HSH um, guitar that I've ever owned. And so I didn't know this about HSH guitars, but when you're in the two and four positions, because there's humbuckers instead of single coils, there's actually a volume drop in the two and four positions because you're splitting the humbuckers into single coils and humbuckers naturally are louder and have more output than single coils. So in the two and four positions, there's volume drop. And that was really irritating for me for a while. The way I kind of remedied that was just using compression on my on my pedal board. It doesn't fully remedy it, but it does kind of help with that significant volume change there. So again, those three things, just kind of nitpicks that I've gotten used to. All in all, really, really love this guitar. I will say that I guess the price is another kind of downside to this thing. It's, I won't, I'm not gonna lie, sirs are very expensive, but I knew it was gonna be worth it. I knew I was gonna be using it a lot. And I've pretty much, through gigging, have paid for this guitar. So for me, it was worth it. At the end of the day, you know, whatever instrument you choose, just make sure that it's comfortable to you, you get the sounds that you like out of it, and it inspires you to play, because this is what this guitar does to me. It, it inspires me to play. I, I can play for hours on this thing and not, like, get uncomfortable or start hurting. And my favorite thing about this guitar is ever since I bought it, I would go to guitar stores and I would try out guitars, look around, you know, see what's cool. Every time since after getting this guitar, trying other guitars, I've never really felt the need to buy another guitar because I have this one and it's just so comfortable and I'm so used to it already. So that's actually my favorite thing about this guitar is it kind of, at least for now, it has ended my my hunt for other guitars <laughs> don't get me wrong i still want to buy more guitars but i don't need to anymore so yeah hope you like that video hopefully it was informative for you guys i highly recommend sir guitars and specifically sir modern guitars they kind of they're kind of like swiss army knives they can do everything if you like the video please give it a like if you want to see more videos like this 
consider subscribing. I, I do a lot of kind of gig vlogs and just music content overall. I'm also releasing more music this year. I actually just released a demo track if you want to check it out. Uh, it's the last video on this channel. I'm going to be releasing a better mixed and better better quality version of that track uh, within a few months. So. so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Shoots.